I was born in a small town called Clay, Kentucky. Grew up on a farm outside of Clay. And I was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. While I was in the Navy, I was a player coach for a Navy team where I was stationed. And I sort of fell in love with coaching. Actually, I had some part of nine players who went on to play Major League Baseball. It's very rewarding to know that some of the guys that you associated with played in the big leagues. I performed with a modern dance group at the University of Alabama. I performed in the recent video, Folk Dance Aerobics. And this was the folk dance aerobic that I came up with. And since then, I've even done an aerobic video of exercise of strength and stretch. I was the head of the physical education department at Cal Poly, and uh, we were going to lose our dance program. I wrote to Washington, D.C. to the lady that was in charge of dance, and she said, well, why don't you call Betty Rose Griffith at Long Beach State and ask her to write a letter of support for you to keep your dance programs. Two or three years later, we were at a national convention in Atlanta, and I was getting ready to get on the bus to go back to the hotel. She was coming from the hotel to the uh, arena, and uh, when she got off, I saw her name tag, so I introduced myself and thanked her for writing the letter. And she said, well, all you owe me uh, is a dance. So that night at the dance, uh, we danced, and we've been dancing ever since. Oh, I thought, goodness gracious, here's a little old farm boy. I'd never marry a farm boy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was about the cutest thing I'd ever seen, you know. She was a flaming redhead. Uh, you want to get the thumpity thump thump. I got sort of the thumpity thump thump when I met her, you know, and got to know her. Do you know he is a good dancer and a good leader? I had to stop helping him and let him lead me wherever he wanted to send me. I've always been competitive, and I started going to first uh, local tournaments, state tournaments, regional tournaments, and then national tournaments, and I was pretty successful there. I wasn't the slickest athlete on the court. In fact, uh, when I'd go up and get my winner's trophy, uh, they'd say, oh, you won? Yeah, I won. It wasn't because I was a... <laughs> I was a better winner. I just hated to lose worse than they did. I didn't like to lose. So uh, I just love the sport. It's a great individual sport. I still love it, still play it, and still get energized just thinking about playing it. And I would go to the racquetball tournaments and watch him play, and he was really good. And I got tired of watching. <laughs> so I said, look, you, how about teaching me? how to play this game. It looked fun, and so he did. He taught me how to play. I had a terrific coach, the best. <laughs> I stay active because I know it's good for me and because I love movement, and I love to be creative with it, to create something, to make something, because life is a dance. This places by far the best that, uh, that we, we looked at about seven or eight places before we decided upon uh, this place and we haven't been sorry at all. The meals are better. They have enough activities to keep you busy eight hours a day if you, if you want to be involved in that. Oh, I love it. The food's great. <laughs> and I gained four pounds the first week. There are others here who love you and they show it, and they're kind to you, and it's just a very loving place. I think Roundtree Garden is just the top quality. It's top cabin all the way.